The Schunderbunds, the largest mangrove forest in the world, a complex network of islands, winding creeks, and mudflats. Home to a variety of plants and animals, it is a sanctuary for some of the world's most endangered species, including the largest single population of tigers in the world. But this unique ecosystem is under threat. When first mapped in 1764, it stretched from the mouth of the Hooghly River to the mouth of the Meghna. But due to population pressure and climate change, it's now barely one third of that size and it's continuing to shrink. Unless we act now, this priceless resource will disappear within a few generations. Because of the pressures of population growth, the forest resources are being overexploited as more people rely on it for their livelihood, cutting more trees for timber, catching more fish to sell, the natural balance of the Schunderbunds is being damaged. The problem is made worse by the illegal poaching of animals, like the Bengal tiger, for the trade of their body parts and products. In the early 1900s, these tigers were abundant in the forest. Now only a few hundred remain. Other species are also at risk. The saltwater crocodile, the horseshoe crab, the gadgetic dolphin, the list goes on. Not just a tragedy in itself, the loss of these animals will further upset the fragile ecosystem. But perhaps the most destructive activity has come in the form of shrimp cultivation. To save the expense of pumping salt water further inland, Forest lands were cleared to create shrimp farming ponds near the Schunderbund's tidal areas. The consequences have been devastating. Small nylon nets used to catch shrimp also trap fish larvae, decreasing biodiversity, and salt water seeping out of the shrimp ponds has led to a marked increase in the salinity of the soil. It's a problem that's being made worse by climate change. As sea levels rise, as land sinks into the water, and as embankments are breached and overtopped, the conditions are becoming dire. Salt water is being pushed further upstream, and with the decreasing flow of fresh water because of man-made interventions and natural processes, it's harder for people and animals to find drinking water. Native species of trees like the Shunduri, from which the forest gets its name, are dying because of the salinity, further upsetting the forest's delicate balance. But the loss of the Schwinderbunds is not just a matter of biodiversity. In a part of the world where cyclones are a regular threat, the forest has long acted as a shock absorber. As it shrinks, severe storms, which are predicted to become more intense and occur more frequently with climate change, will wreak greater havoc and impact further inland. The situation seems serious. Can anything be done? Just taking a few small steps can make a big difference. In the short term, we must completely stop poaching, regulate commercial fishing, control shrimp cultivation. Other solutions are longer term. We must increase freshwater flow by dredging and excavating rivers and reconnecting creeks, create alternative income generating opportunities for local people and make them the custodians of the forest, Create and implement an effective development plan for the forest and its adjacent areas. But there is no time to waste. We have to act now. We can save the Schunderbunds, not just for us, but for generations to come.